Hello and welcome to Angela Specific's Garden and Homestead. Guys, I just wanted to bring you along uh, while I pot up my broccoli. These seeds were sown on January 29th. And as you can see, they are looking quite healthy. But I need to go on and separate them and get them potted up. And I thought I'd take you along on the journey, okay? So let's get started. I'm going to share with you everything I have here on the table. And I'll share with you how I pot up my seedlings when they have germinated out of the little peat pellets. Okay, I'll be using the miracle Grow seed starting potting mix and um, this is uh, also what I use when I'm starting seeds as well um, but I am going to pot up my seedlings in this uh, potting mix because it's still very soft for the roots uh, of these young plants that are still very tender and when I need to fertilize I'll use a liquid fertilizer so it will be just fine to use this particular soil for now and I'm hoping to keep my broccoli in these containers until they're ready to go out in the garden. And of course, these containers come from Dollar Tree. And this tray here that I will be using um, is one that you can get from the recycled section of materials um, at Lowe's. Uh, customers return them. And also, as plants are being purchased, um, they stack these up as well um, for you to take, uh, what have you. And then also over here, I have a pan of water uh, because from now on, I want my plants uh, to suck in water from the roots. And so I'm going to be placing each of the pots after I get them filled into um, this pan of water here, as you can see. And then once it has absorbed as much water um, as possible, then I'll place them on the tray and then put them under my grow lights. So let's get started. So some of these seedlings have one in it and looks like there's a little one coming there at the very bottom, but I'm just going to plant it as if it's one for now. And then some of them, this one has four, uh, some have four, two, two, and I think two here. So what I'm going to do is for this one here, and also there's a little one coming, probably when it come up, I'll just clip it off. Uh, but um, I tend to peel this little fabric off even though the roots can still come out through it and you don't necessarily have to pull it off. You can plant it just as is. Um, I still have a tendency just to remove them. And so I'm going to fill the pot halfway with soil and then just place it right here in the middle of the pot and then back fill it with soil all around it and I'm holding it with my thumb to keep it in place. And I like using this big container here because uh, the soil can drop and I know that it's not going all over the floor or all over the table. And I just press it in and try to center it as much as possible, also, although that really doesn't make a difference. Um, but I want to press it in to get all of the air pockets out, just like that. And I'm now going to place it in my tray of water so that it can absorb uh, the water. And then we'll move on to the next one. Fill my soil halfway. And then this one has several in it and you can see the roots are coming out here of the bottom just going to gently remove this little film and then just separate these okay so I was able to get one, try to center it in the middle, back fill it with soil, and 
and I won't fertilize until I see the the first true leaves and the leaves that you see here these are going to die off as the plant begins to grow you'll find that they'll start to turn yellow and at that point you can just pinch them off okay I'm going to get this one in water and go back to the next Like this one, they can get kind of tangled, and some people only pick what they think uh, is the strongest one. Um, but um, because I'm trying to grow in quantity, uh, I try to keep every last one of them that I can um, because really, you never know what's going to make it or what's not going to make it so um, because I have the market garden I try to keep every seedling that germinates and you're going to lose a few along the way no doubt and that is always a reason why you should sow more seeds than you think you're going to need and then a lot of my extra seedlings um, can be sold at the market as well um, because I have a nursery license to sell vegetable transplants, flowers. Um, I also sell blackberry plants, raspberry plants, house plants as well. So uh, anything extra is just a bonus because I can always um, sell it. Okay, that's the second one from that uh, set of five. It was actually five in there. I'm going to get this in water. Trying to be careful. Okay, here's one. Right. I'll set this one here because I don't have any space right now in that tray to add any more. Um, but I'm going to get the rest of these potted up and I'll come back and share with you what they all look like, okay? Okay, so I have all of the broccoli potted up and it came out to be 26 plants in all. And as you can see, it is soaking up the water slowly. You can tell where the soil is getting a little darker. That's how you know that uh, the top of the uh, soil is moist and that the moisture has come all the way up to the top of the pot or where the soil line is. And I've had to add more water because before you knew it, it was uh, becoming dry. So I had to add more water. And then I have those over here as well soaking in water and this other pan here as well soaking in water and then once uh, it's completely uh, moist um, as i've stated i'm going to place them on this tray here 
and uh, placed them under a grow light. Uh, but let's go check on the other things that I have um, that uh, I was waiting on to germinate. Uh, I know that I have collards that are just like these that need to be potted up. And so since I have shared this process with you, um, there's no need for me to do it again with the collard greens. But I just want to check on the Swiss chard and the peppers to see um, how they're progressing. So let's go take a look. And I have this uh, container um, near a light in my home, or not a light, but a window uh, near my home. But because today is um, it's another rainy day and we're supposed to be having freezing rain, there's not much lighting uh, at this time. But over here to the left, uh, I've planted um, habanero peppers in this first row, cayenne peppers, banana peppers, and this fourth row here um, are the serrano chili peppers. I have two more uh, collards here that have come up that needs to be repotted. And then over here, these last two rows this is my Swiss chard. So they have come up nicely and needs to be repotted or potted up as well and removed so that it can go under a grow light. So um, after I get all of the collards potted up, then I'll move towards potting up the Swiss chard. Okay, and so as you can see guys, the process is not hard. It just takes, uh, um, takes your time in doing it. Uh, but it is well worth uh, starting from seed as opposed to purchasing a lot of transplants because uh, it can get a little a little costly. Uh, but then also, I also enjoy the process and working with the soil and the seeds. So I want to thank you so much for joining me. I hope that you all are safe and well. Don't forget to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe if you're not a subscriber. And don't forget to hit that notification bell for future videos. God bless. Bye-bye.